So when we're dealing with, uh, with this type of integrals, we have basically three cases or three strategies that uh, we need, with, that we, we can, uh, um, we're going to treat each, each case or each strategy in a different uh, way. So let's start with the first one, um, the first case or strategy, we call it strategy A. This involves, and this is something we saw, I think, last time on, on Tuesday. Uh, this is when we have all power of the cosine. So all power of cosine. And the cosine, the uh, exponent is n. So we're looking at n equals 2k plus 1. Um, and k simply is a positive integer 0, 1, 2, so and so. And the idea here, we want to factor uh, the cos cosine theta. And the reason we want to do it, we wanted to, to, uh, to get cosine theta d theta. Why is that? Because cosine theta d theta, if you if you look at the, the antiderivative, it will be the it is the antiderivative of the sine theta. So this lead to a future substitution. We're going to substitute, let's say, sine theta with u. So u equals sine theta, du equal cos sine theta d theta. So that's why we want to factor uh, cos sine theta out of uh, out of this product. So let's see what uh, we generate if we do so. Okay, um, since theta n equals 2k plus 1, we're going to say that the integral, and I'll call it i because I'm going to go back and modify it. So i, the integral that we started with the sine theta to the n power, and instead of cosine, well, let me start with the way we started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to write it is the integral of sine theta to the n power, and then instead of n, we have 2k plus 1, so I'll break it down into cosine theta to the power of 2k times cosine theta to the 1 power. So we have what we wanted. We have this isolation. So <clears throat> the next thing I want to do is I want to express the cosine in terms of sine, is we know that cosine theta d theta the antiderivative of cosine theta d theta is sine theta, so we're interested in expressing everything in terms of sine theta. So first I'm going to write uh, that nothing happened to the sine here throughout this exercise, but the cosine, I can write the cosine uh, raised to the power of 2 theta as cosine squared raised to the kth power. And I recall that I have a nice substitution for the cosine squared, and that substitution is 1 minus sine squared. So use this substitution, and we end up having the integral of sine theta to the n power, and then 1 minus sine squared, all of it raised to the k power, and then the cosine theta d theta, and I'm ready to do the substitution. So we're going to let u equal sine theta, and therefore du equal cosine theta d theta, which we were smart enough to, uh, we, <clears throat> to get by, by factoring cosine theta. Okay, so now we substitute back and we said our integral i will be written as the integral of u to the power of m times 1 minus u squared to the power of k du. And I think I gave you on Tuesday one example where you use that. The thing is this, uh, there are two ways to treat this. Um, one way is to say, okay, I have a recipe, but you're going to have like two or three more recipes like that at, by the end of today's class. And this is going to be added to uh, 
num uh, other or number of things that you uh, that you need to memorize, and this number is keep increasing. Uh, when I'm in favor of instead of memorizing this recipe, uh, is looking at the principle behind it. And the principle behind it is find a convenient differential. In this case, I'm looking at cosine theta d theta. In the next case, we're going to look at sine theta d theta. And then the derivative of sine theta d theta, of course, is the negative cosine. Okay? And, and, and so on and so forth. So throughout this section, that will be the, uh, the principle. So let's look at the next strategy. <clears throat> I think I'm going to break this.